In this video, I'm going to be reviewing RightSonic. RightSonic is an AI copywriting tool that unlike many others, this tool's USP is writing full-blown content for you. RightSonic generates high quality blog posts, landing pages, Google ads, Facebook ads, emails, product descriptions, and just a ton of other templates. With over 5,000 plus reviews, I thought it was time for me to check it out. If you have any questions about RightSonic, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and I'll also leave a special discounted link in the description below that I will keep updated so you always get your money's worth. Here we are inside RightSonic and one of the first things that I always like about softwares is when they guide you on what to do. So you look at the dashboard and there's really nothing for you to do apart from click the new project setting. This is going to be our workstation so we're going to title this whatever your project's going to be about. Once we've created that this unlock all the other templates inside. So we have a ton of different templates from article and blogs to digital ads, e-com, frameworks, myths, social media, website, and writing. In the bottom hand right corner, you have your help center, report issues, contact port, etc. So you can always contact them if you run into any issues. Now, all of these templates are really cool, but honestly, I'm only truly gonna be reviewing these two options here because these two features contain everything in here. Also, if I test every single one of these templates, it's not going to be a very fun video at all. So we're going to start off with the AI article writer 2.0. It says it's the best quality and it's a four step simplified GPT-3 article writer that can write unique articles instantly. So this writer uses four templates. It uses the idea template, it uses the intro template, the outline, and then the overall writer. It's also got short codes for all the other templates as well and then breaking down the screen you can see step one is about coming up with ideas step two is generating an intro step three is creating the outline and then step four is drafting your article so this is what I meant before when I said it actually writes the entire blog post for you so let's go ahead and start typing in a topic how to train a dog to sit then you can change the language and here are all the languages you can change it to we're going to keep it in English because the only language which I speak. Right under the language drop down, you have tips which will open up tips for better quality, like do this and do that, etc. Let's go ahead and generate an idea. Five different ideas from how to get your dog to sit on command, how to train a dog to sit on command, how to train a dog, nine easy ways to manage your pup. Um, so I'm actually going to do this one here how to train your dog to sit, a step by step guide for success. Then it's automatically populated the title with the idea. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's generated these intros and I'll let you go ahead and pause the video if you want to have a read but I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom one here and now the next step is the generating the outline so again it automatically populates everything let's go ahead and do generate now it's generated the outlines and these outlines you didn't know it's always good to create an outline of a blog post so then we've got like the subheadings and we can create paragraphs of each outline which really helps build and break up the blog so it's not so tedious I like this one here the seven seconds sections it's even got so now we're in the final step which believe it or not this is pretty simple I've not even needed to correct anything because the accuracy with it all is pretty top notch so now we've got the title we've got the intro we've got the outline let's go ahead and do uh, the full article it's only been a couple of seconds and it's generated this blog and you can see what I was talking about before where each outline has been uh, split and then it's had a, it's got a paragraph underneath it and as we scroll go ahead and pause the screen have a read of it um but i can't actually see any real issues here and what's nice is that it's actually auto added the heading tag to the titles which means it's even optimized for seo now you can use the typical customization bar here just to add bold or add links into it and you can even download the article but what i want to do i want to check to see the plagiarism score here i am inside grammarly I'm going to go ahead and paste the article and then I'm going to check the plagiarism. This is the premium of Grammarly, one of the best in the market for plagiarism. And we've got a 4% plagiarism, which is a nothingness, which means that it's basically unique content. Okay, so Google should not have any issues with this article. You won't be penalized or anything on those lines. So that is pretty impressive. Also, if we have a look at the overall score, it scores an 83. And let's 
let's just have a quick look at all the spelling and what's not, okay? So out of 1,102 words, it's done a total of 50, 54 spelling mistakes, which to be honest, depending on your geo, might not actually be an issue at all. Um, different geos spell different things in different ways and even the context or the tone of the article will have corrections inside Grammarly. So 54 uh, corrections really is not anything to be concerned about. Overall though, that is a pretty good article. Now once you've finished the article, you've got two further choices. You can click the save and now this will be saved in your saved area, which we'll go through shortly. And then you can also download it and it will download in a Word document, which will look like this. Next, let's have a look at the long form writing assistant. Personally, I'm not actually a big fan of this side of this feature. Uh, I much prefer the feature that we were just in, but let's have a play around it. So again, I think they really mastered the simplicity side of things. Uh, there's nothing that can confuse us. We have the length, which is basically how long the inputs is going to be. And then you've got the creativity. So the, the more creative it is, the more issues you might have due to it potentially trying to be too creative and join words together we don't know let's see how it goes i'm going to keep it at about 0.6 and again you've got your tip here and you've even got a button that will take you to youtube and then uh, i think it's about 15 minutes long it's a decent tutorial uh, it just shows you how to use the tool okay so it tells you to write a minimum of 50 words to train the ai so i'm going to first type in a title how to train a dog to sit and then i'm just going to grab this text from this website and then i'm going to paste in okay that's reached the target so let's see what it comes up with okay so it's come up with this and what it's doing is that it's actually breaking it down so step one get your dog's attention step two place a treat in front of them and move behind them that's actually pretty cool now what else you can do with this is if you highlight it it'll come up with this pop-up and you can rephrase it expand it or shorten it on mouse here and then click expand to the right instead of adding it into the document it opens up in a sidebar and it shows you all of these uh, variations so i'm going to go ahead and use this one and now that's in. At the bottom of the screen, you have your typical customization and heading tags. So I'm going to select this and do H2. And again, I'll do H2. And then here I will do H1. And then to continue writing, all you do is click write with AI. As you can see, it's detecting what it's saying above and it's continuing the theme. I'm just going to go ahead and make this bold. And I'm going to copy all of this, go back to Grammarly, paste it in, and let's check the plagiarism. Okay, so it's given a score of 18% but the reason why it's given a score of 18% is because I literally copied this in from the other website so let me remove this because uh, Write Sonic did not write that I wrote that or I copied it so let's just remove that and it's given a 2% plagiarism score which again is absolutely nothing to worry about that is really high quality writing there on the bottom right of your screen you have the word count so we've already written 400 and word 400 and one words and then again you've got the download option there it will download the document for you on the left you can hide the sidebar or expand it heading back to the dashboard of right sonic we have two more features that i want to go through which is the save tab this will save all of your writings that you want to reuse by copying it to your clipboard and then pasting it wherever you want. And then you've also got the history, which will show you all of the history and when it was last edited, where you can view or delete it. You can also search for it. And that is the dashboard completed. So what do I think of Write Sonic? I actually think this has made it into my top three AI copywriting tools. The step-by-step -step feature of where it writes the blog post for you is exactly what AI copywriting tools need especially for content creators who are one-man bands and are just trying to churn out content. It did a fantastic job on the lack of plagiarism and also the quality of the tech. Usually when it comes to AI writing softwares, I tend to say apply the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the writing should be done by the tool and 20% should be done by you tweaking it and by the human basically, making the tweaks, fact checking, etc. From what I read of what we generated today, in this video, it will be more on the lines of 95% can be done by this tool and the further 5% will be done by the human. Which let's face it, time is money and if the tool generates a good quality blog for you that fits your purpose, then you're laughing. Would I recommend Write Sonic to people? Yeah, it's a fantastic tool. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.